What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Alanis Morissette. Once again, big shout out to Yvonne, and we're going to go back to the first track on the album now. We're going to listen to All I Really Want. I did want to mention You Ought to Know, the one track going into this deep dive that I am familiar with. Uh, that one's coming next, so looking forward to it. It's a song I have some sense of, both sonically and in terms of the sentiment, but I think it's been a few years since I've heard it, so... I'm not remembering all the lines. I certainly remember the iconic way she sings the title phrase, but before we get there, as I said, we're going to listen to All I Really Want. The nature of the phrasing makes me think it might be a modest or humble request. All I really want is this one thing, and outside of that, everything else is negotiable. Um, it perhaps could be, you know, a seasonal thing. All I really want, you know, for my birthday or for the holidays or whatever. It feels like it could be along those lines, but ultimately, I would imagine um, on some level we're dealing with interpersonal um, emotions and um, ultimately interactions, so let's find out what it actually is, because admittedly I don't really know her music at all beyond that one um, iconic track, and so her songwriting uh, remains um, unknown to me, so let's listen. This is Alanis Morissette, the first track on her 1995 album Jagged Little Pill, and it's called All I Really Want. Is that a harmonica? We've got harmonica. Hey. Do I stress you out? My sweater is on backwards and inside out, and you say how appropriate. You think about your bills, your next, your deadlines, or when you think you're gonna die, or did you long for the next distraction? And all I need now is intellectual intercourse, a soul that makes the whole much deeper. And I have no concept of time. Some peace, man. A place to find a common ground. 
begin, I had a sense of how she sings that one song that I knew going into this, uh, but clearly she's got a lot of vocal um, flavors, even in a single tune. And yeah, um, it's interesting, like there was a lot of lines in there, um, you know, it didn't sound like a simple tune thematically. A couple lines that sounded maybe a bit dangerous, maybe a bit violent, and obviously the line near the end about, you know, trying to get your hands untied, that could be like conceptual, but ultimately, um, yeah, that it seemed like maybe there was a darkness to some of the material going on, but also it felt very, you know, forceful and defiant in a way, so um, in part, like, because of the, the vocal delivery, at least in sections, so um, I do also love her, like, melismatic, um, you know, agile sort of vocal flourishes that, um, I don't know if, like, tribal is the right word, but they have a very, like, non-standard singing sort of quality. I really enjoy it. It's, you know, there's a charisma to it, so yeah, again, a lot to learn about um, just this album, never mind um, Alanis' music more generally, but it's nice to actually go through an album that, you know, even though I didn't personally experience it beyond one tune, um, I do remember this being a very iconic, like quintessentially 90s album you heard, um, the, the tune that I do know on the radio, on, on MTV, and so on, so um, it's nice to get the fuller picture of this um, piece of music history, so... In any case, shout out to Yvonne once again. Let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.